Okay, so what we're going to do is let's go ahead and start a new Word document. And we're going to go to Tools. And I'm going to make sure that Mail Merge Manager is checked so that we have our little window popped up here. And by the way, I'm doing this on the Mac, but it works pretty much the same on a Windows box. So we're going to go down to Labels. And what we want to do in our Label dialog box is choose Mail Merge. And that will lay out a table. Uh, and I have grid lines showing. But that will lay out a table on uh, the Word document. And so now we're going to insert our data fields so that um, we can get the labels going. Now, if you notice right here in the table layout tab in Word, I can turn grid lines on and off. I personally like to see the grid lines because that gives me an idea of uh, the actual layout of these labels. I'm going to create, uh, or I'm sorry, let's go ahead and we want to tell it, get our list and we want to open a data source. The data source is the Excel spreadsheet. I downloaded a copy from Google Docs down to the computer. And it's going to say, okay, we need to convert this over. We click OK. We're just going to choose uh, Sheet 1 in the entire workbook. And we're going to give it a minute to actually convert the spreadsheet over for use in the mail merge. Now we need to tell it what fields to insert. So I'm going to do, let's do item name, and I'm going to hit enter, and item number, and I'm going to hit enter. And we can also say, hey, put in the department. May or may not want that, but we can add it. And let's put in a dollar sign here, and then we're going to put in the field for price. And we're going to click OK. And notice it's going to automatically lay these out for us. Now, I'm going to go ahead and select all of the text in the document. I'm going to change the font size to 10. I'm also going to modify it over to, let's just do Arial. And now we're going to go over to our Mail Merge box. And let's actually preview or view some of the merged data. And so when I do that, it's going to give us a highlight of the data. And notice here we have description, we have item number, which is actually the UPC code, we also have the department on it, and we have the retail price, and all of that is going to print on the labels. And again, these are the 5160 labels. And I can sit here and just kind of scroll through some of the pages, just kind of double-checking the data. I want to make sure that none of these descriptions um, over or excuse me, are long enough to go to the uh, end of the row and wrap down. So I'm just kind of going through. Of course, we have a lot of fields here. Um, let's just kind of go through them a little bit and just kind of double check it. Let's go over to 200. And yeah, see like this one here. This Casella wine gelatel Chardonnay 1.5 liter, it's a long description, uh, but it's still fitting on the label, uh, so we should be okay there. Now the final step is we want to take our temporary label document and merge all of the data into our final Word document. And so it's real important here, I'm going to take preview off, that uh, you go ahead and make sure that um, you have everything kind of laid out right here on the, the single page that you want. And so we're going to go over here into our Mail Merge Manager, and we're going to say Complete the Merge. And rather than merging it to the printer, I'm going to merge it to a new document. That way I could go back and make some corrections if necessary. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And we're going to give it uh, just a minute or two while it actually merges all the records together. And now that the merge is completed, uh, notice that we have a, a new Word document that has all of the data in it. Um, again, notice we cannot preview or anything now. It's actually taken all this and combined it into a Word document. So what I'm going to do here is go ahead and let's save this because uh, it's just given in a temporary label six uh, name. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And it's going to say, okay, what do you want to call it and where do you want to put it? And so I'm going to call this Merged, 
and uh, we can call it pretty much anything we want, but let's just call it complete complete list. And we save it. And that's how we do a mail merge document uh, using Excel as our database and Word to actually do the labels.